Welcome back to YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In Depth Tech Reviews, and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 32. And in this episode, I'm gonna share with you some exciting changes. But before starting, let me remind you that my Amazon affiliate and wallpaper links are in the description below. And now let's begin. I will start with Gmail. And finally, it supports Material U now, and you can get it on your phone if you want by installing a specific version of the app that I'm going to leave its APK mirror link in the description below. So let's take a look at the new changes. First, the search bar at the top, the bottom navigation bar, the compose button are now matching your device theme in addition to the side menu. And when you search for something, the whole page will use the same color. When you open an email and start scrolling, the top area will use the same color in addition to a pill-shaped design quick action buttons instead of the rectangular design like before. The more menu and the confirmation overlay menus are also matching your device theme. The active tab will have a pill-shaped highlight around it which is similar to what we have seen in the files app and when you go to Google Meet, the buttons are also using a pill-shaped design. When you mark any of the emails as your favorite, you will no longer see the yellow color like before, but now it's using a dark gray color. Now let me show you how it looks in dark theme using the same accent color. So everything is now darker as expected and the favorites icon is now using a light gray color instead of the dark one in light theme. And as you see here, here's how it looks when you go to the side menu, Google Meet, go inside an email, and so on and so forth. To get the new design on your phone, check the download link in the description below. It will take you to APK Mirror website with this version available for download. Just install it as you normally would. It doesn't require any special instructions. And by the way, this new design might show up on Android 11 as well. I didn't try that myself because I don't have a device running Android 11 for the time being, but you can give it a try and let me know in the comments. Next, Google Chrome. And it got a couple of new features. The first one is called the copy link to highlight. It's a feature we first saw on desktop and now it's available on Android. When you highlight any text in a web page and then tap on share, you will be able to share the text along with the link. And when you tap on this button to turn off the feature, you will get a toast notification saying share text only. And when you activate the button, it says include link to highlight. When you share the link that way, the recipient will be taken right away to this part of the page, like this, and you will also get a highlight on the text. This highlight will disappear once you start scrolling. The second feature is also related to sharing text. Now you will see a new option here called Create Card. When you tap on it, Google Chrome will put the text in a card, which is better than sharing plain text, and you will see plenty of options to choose from. Once you are happy with the choice, tap on Next, and then choose which app you want to share it with. I'm gonna choose WhatsApp, for example. And in this case, I'm getting the card in addition to the link. When I send it, this is how it looks. When the recipient tap the link, it will do exactly as we saw with the copy link to highlight. It will take you straight away to this part with the text highlighted. And you can also choose to copy the image only. So let me show you this again. Create card and then tap on next. As you see here, I have the option to copy image and this one will not include the link. To activate the create card feature, head over to Chrome flags and look for web notes styles. Turn on the flag, relaunch your Google Chrome and you are good to go. And the third change is in the continuous search navigation feature. Now it looks much better than before. First, Google replaced the text on the left with the Google icon. The carousel itself is much smaller and the items are using a rectangular shape instead of a pill-shaped design. If it's your first time to see this feature, it will simply show you your search results in this carousel so you can immediately jump between pages instead of going back to your Google search page. But if you still want to go back directly to your search page, tap the Google icon right here. I showed you how to activate this feature before, so if you want to know how, please check the link in the description below. And the last change is in the dark theme. Google started to roll out a slightly darker dark theme for Google Chrome, and I got this new change here on my Pixel 4a on the right, and you can see how much darker it looks compared to the one I have on my Pixel 5. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and the office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $15.55, which is insanely cheap. 
please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review next gboard and if you are using android 12 you will see this new circular pop-ups on key press also the overlay pop-ups are now more rounded with better animation when you slide your finger you will see this new change when you tap and hold on the emoji key as well in addition to the letters next google assistant and the first change is in the information card so let me show you how it looks what's the weather if you take a look here you will see the option to edit your command is now located at the bottom instead of being at the top like before not only this but i found a new option here called send daily every time i ask for the weather and when i tap on this option so let me raise the volume and the tap on send daily sure what time should i send it each day and then it will ask me what time shall i send it each day so i'm gonna choose 8 15 a.m for example got it i'll send you your what's the weather notification at 8 15 a.m every day and by this google assistant will give me the weather information every day at 8 15 a.m which is considered a subscription and you can cancel this subscription by tapping the chip right here cancel subscription sure subscription removed or you can resubscribe again if you want i'm not sure what other types of subscriptions i can choose but i will try and keep you updated in my future videos the second change is under family bill at the top you will see a new option called pause bills while you are on break and when you tap on get started it will ask you for the first date and the last date then you can choose what bills to pause during this period you can select all of them or some next the ability to trigger your routines by dismissing the alarm so for example when you create a new one and then tap on add starter you will see a new option here called dismiss an alarm from here you can select which smart speaker or display to handle this routine in my case i have the google home mini already selected and if you don't want this routine to be triggered with each and every alarm you dismiss you can specify the time range so for example i will choose between 9 a.m and 11 a.m as well so in this case any other alarm i have will not trigger this routine and also it says here if you are using an android phone start by setting your alarm time in the google clock app after tapping on learn more i found that google clock app is mandatory so if your android phone is using a different one you might need to set the google clock app as your default instead but if you don't want to do this you can simply set the alarm directly from your smart display or speaker but also to start the routine you have to dismiss the alarm from them but let's say you already have the google clock app installed and you want to link this routine with your android phone in this case you shouldn't create the routine from here but instead you go to the google clock app and then expand your alarm settings tap on google assistant routine and it will start a new one saying when i dismiss my alarm the routine will then start adding your actions from here one more thing worth mentioning when you create this type of routine and link it to your smart display or speaker you have to also choose a voice starter i'm not sure why this is a requirement but the routine can be triggered by just saying dismiss the alarm you don't have to say the voice starter as well next google messages and it got a new attachment picker now when you tap the plus sign you will see this new colorful grid ui and instead of the list like interface with multiple carousels like before there is only one new addition here called the schedule send so instead of tapping and holding on the send button to schedule your message now you can do it from here but other than this all the options do exactly the same thing as before next the google weather app got redesigned i have the new design on my pixel 4a and the old design on the pixel 5 the first change is in the search bar at the top first it's smaller and has more rounded corners google also dropped the hamburger menu and replaced it with the profile picture so if you want to access the app settings you can tap on the profile picture now it includes the same options as before but it looks slightly different from here you can change the temperature units and it will show you this overlay menu to choose your preference while here you have a couple of buttons to press on also from the profile picture you can add the widget to your home screen and instead of having it under the hamburger menu other than this they do exactly the same thing there is no difference in the functionality uh, all pages look exactly the same and you can still swipe to access different pages next the google app and now when you go to settings you will see a new menu item called hide explicit results this option used to be called safe search and it was listed under general but now it got its own menu item and when you go inside you will be able to turn the feature on or off in some countries this option will always be locked to on like in the ue here 
You can also expand this part if you want to know more about the feature. Also, this menu item has been renamed from interests to channels and interests. And finally, the Google search widget now has Google Lens shortcut so you can quickly access the app. Talking about Google Lens, now the app started to support material use. So for example, when you go to the translate tab, you see the language picker at the top is now matching the device theme. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to share with you in this episode. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.